Our first contender tonight is Darren Smith. He's a primary school teacher from Cambridgeshire, and his specialist subject is the Vicar of Dibley. Next, Andrew Gregory, a company director from York. His subject, the novels of George Orwell. Hugh Williams is a retired school teacher from Hampshire, and he's answering questions on Roman coinage. And Brian Chesney, a retired librarian from Worcestershire. His specialist subject, Harold Wilson. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders are waiting to take their place in the black chair. They've all spent weeks preparing for the two minutes of questions on their specialist subjects and perhaps longer worrying about what may or may not be in the two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Tonight's winner will go through to the semi-finals, of course, and move a step closer to the famous glass bowl and the Mastermind title. Let us ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Darren Smith. Your occupation? Primary school teacher. And your chosen subject? The Vicar of Dibley. The Vicar of Dibley in two minutes, starting now. In the first episode, Geraldine Granger, played by Dawn French, becomes the new vicar in the village of Dibley. What's the name of the church? St Barnabas. Yep. Which regular character usually starts whatever he's going to say with the words, no, 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 no? Jim Trott. Yep. Frank looks in the book of minutes to find out what had been depicted on the great north window before it was broken during a storm. What biblical story was on the window? Noah's Ark. Yes, in the episode Community Spirit, Geraldine promises to find a big star to open the autumn fair to improve on the previous year's takings. Who arrives at the vicarage on the day of the fair and is persuaded to open it? Kylie Minogue. Yes, what household item does Geraldine cut up and use as a dog collar in the final episode of the first series? A washing up liquid bottle. Yes, in the episode Winter, what role does David David Horton have in the nativity play. He's described by Geraldine as cruel and jealous. Herod. Yes, in the Christmas lunch incident, Alice the Verger gives Geraldine a present of the authorised biography of which pop group? The Spice Girls. Yep. What does Geraldine change about her appearance after she meets David Horton's brother Simon because he says that's what he likes in a woman? She dyes her hair blonde. She does. At the end of the autumn fair, Geraldine announces the takings without the bid for Letitia Cropley's orange cake. What flavour of icing was the cake topped with? Branston pickle. Yes. Which actor's picture hangs on the wall of the vicarage next to one of Jesus in the season specials? He appears in Geraldine's dream to interrupt a wedding to David Horton and, as a result, she turns down David's actual marriage proposal. Sean Bean. Yep. Yeah. In the episode Summer, the villagers chain themselves with the church in protest against plans to evacuate Dibley and turn it into what? A uh, reservoir. Yes. What does the farmer, Owen Newitt, give up for Lent in the episode The Easter Bunny? Swearing. Yes, when Harry Kennedy asks Geraldine to marry him, she mistakenly believes she is being asked to officiate at his wedding to which other woman? Uh, his sister. Yes. What is the title of the first book assigned to members of Dibley's book club? It proves unsuccessful after no one bothers to read it. White teeth. No on beauty. An original painting by which artist is taken down from the Hortons' living room when Alice redecorates it is later inadvertently given to Geraldine to celebrate her ten years in Dibley? Stubbs. George Stubbs, yep, absolutely. Shame about that white teeth on duty. <laughs> Could have been either, couldn't it? But there we are. Anyway, you've still got 14 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Andrew Gregory. Your occupation? Company director. And your chosen subject? The novels of George Orwell. George Orwell, in two minutes. Orwell's novel 1984 opens with the line, it was a bright, cold day in April and the clocks were striking... Thirteen. Yes. In Animal Farm, what type of bird is Moses, who claims that all animals go to Sugar Candy Mountain when they die? A raven. Yes. In Coming Up for Air, George Bowling is near Charing Cross when he sees a poster announcing that a wedding has been postponed. Whose wedding? King Zog of Albania. Yes, the title character of a clergyman's daughter is the only child of the rector of St Athelstan's in Knipe Hill in Suffolk. What's her name? Um, Ellen Hare. No, Dorothy Hare. In Keep the Aspidastra Flying, what's the title of Gordon Comstock's volume of poetry which showed exceptional promise, according to the Times Literary Supplement? Mice. Yep. In Burmese Days, what feature of Florrie's face stretches in a ragged crescent down his left cheek from the eye to the corner of the mouth? 
uh, birthmark. Yep. What is the name of George Bowling's elder brother who stole eight pounds from the till in his parent shop and was never heard of again? Joe. Yep. The three main slogans of the party that rules Oceania are written in giant letters on the side of the Ministry of Truth. The first two are war is peace and freedom is slavery. What is the third? Ignorance is strength. Yes. The flag of Animal Farm is raised on Sunday mornings and is made from a green tablecloth on which Snowball has painted a hoof and what other symbol? A horn. Yes. Whom does Elizabeth Lacastine marry at the end of Burmese days? McGregor. Yep. In A Clergyman's Daughter, Dorothy Hare wakes up on a London street unable to remember how she had got there or who she is. Which street? Pass. In 1984, Ampleforth admits that he may have committed thought crime while rewriting the poems of Kipling into an ideologically acceptable form because he kept what word? The word God. Yes. What is the name of the prize boar who encourages the other animals to overthrow the human race? Old Major. Yep. What is the name of the company that Gordon Comstock works for before he gets a job at McKechnie's bookshop, Orwell describes it, as one of those publicity firms which have sprung up everywhere since the war, the fungi that sprout from a decaying capitalism? The New Albion. The New Albion publicity company is exactly right. And uh, your pass in A Clergyman's Daughter, Dorothy Hare, wakes up on New Kent Road. You have, Andrew, 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Hugh Williams. Your occupation? Retired schoolmaster. And your chosen subject? Roman coinage in Britain, AD 41 to AD 402. In two minutes, starting now. The figure of Britannia was first depicted on Roman coins circulated in Britain in the reign of which emperor? Hadrian. Yep. Between 330 and 348 AD, large numbers of Roman coins were minted in a German city, the imperial capital of the western provinces. Which city? Trier. Yes, or Trevez. By what name, meaning made of silver, is a coin of just over three grams weight known? It was minted as part of Diocletian's currency reforms. A siliqua. Argenteus. A brass cestitius issued during the reign of Nero showed the doors of a temple closed to indicate that there were no wars anywhere in the Roman Empire at that time. Which temple? Janus. Yes. What's the name of the cloth thrown down to start a chariot race that was depicted on the obverse of some Roman coins? Pass. The letters RSR were included on some of the coins produced by Carosius around 286 AD. They're thought to refer to a quotation from which Roman poet? Virgil. Yes. Coins marked 20 or 21 had approximately what percentage of silver content following the currency reforms of the Emperor Aurelian? 5%. Yes. Which Roman goddess was the favourite deity of the Emperor Domitian and is frequently depicted on silver coins minted during his reign? Pass. What name is given to the spring near Carabruff on Adrian's Wall? Many votive offerings of coins have been found there. Covertina's Spring. Yes, Covertina's Well, yes. Which demigod with whom the Emperor Commodus particularly associated himself was depicted on some of the coinage produced during his reign? Hercules. Yes. What name was given to London on the coins minted there during the brief reign of the usurper Magnus Maximus? Augusta. Yep. In which French city did Magnentius open a mint with the mint mark AMB during his reign in the mid-4th century AD? Ambianum. Yes, or Amion. Which emperor who permitted freedom of worship throughout the empire in 313 AD was the last for whom posthumous coinage was issued? Constantius. Constantine, yes. In what country was the Taraco mint that struck coins during the period of the civil wars and later during the reign of Vespasian? Spain. Spain is correct. You had two passes. Um, that Roman goddess, the favourite deity of Domitian, was Minerva. And the name of the cloth thrown down to start a chariot race, that was the Mappa. Two passes. You now have a total hue of 11 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Brian Chesney. Your occupation? Retired librarian. And your chosen subject? Harold Wilson. Harold Wilson, in two minutes. Wilson was Prime Minister in two separate terms for the Labour Party. Which constituency did he unexpectedly win when he first stood for Parliament in 1945 when an independent candidate split the Conservative vote? 
Ormskirk. Yep, who beat Wilson when they both stood for the deputy leadership of the Labour Party in November 1962? Brown. Yep. What disease did Wilson contract from contaminated milk during a scout camping trip in 1930? It resulted in a long spell in hospital. Typhoid. Yes. Who owned the firm that made the Gannex raincoat favoured by Wilson? He was controversially given a knighthood in Wilson's resignation honours list in 76. Kagan. Yep. In which town did Wilson give his white heat of technology speech on the 1st of October 1963? Scarborough. Yes. On what island in the Sillies did the Wilsons own a holiday home that Mary Wilson helped pay for with the royalties from her first book of poems? St Mary's. Yes. What prestigious prize did Wilson win at Oxford University for an essay entitled The State and the Railways in Great Britain, 1823 to 63? The Gladstone Memorial Prize. Yes. From which village in Yorkshire did Wilson take his title when he was appointed a life peer? Revo. Yes. What was the name of the Soviet trade minister and later deputy prime minister with whom Wilson developed a friendly relationship from 1947 while he was in Attlee's government? Mikoyan. Yes, which Labour Minister for the Arts had the prime responsibility for setting up the Open University? Wilson regarded it as one of his government's greatest achievements. Jenny Lee. Yes, what was the common name of the proposed agreement between the TUC and any future Labour government based on a document called Economic Policy and the Cost of Living? Social Contract. Yes, which newly created constituency did Wilson narrowly win in the 1950 general election? Heighton. Yes, in October 1964, Wilson appointed the General Secretary of the Transport and General Workers' Union, Frank Cousins, to what post? Minister of Technology. Yes, what is the title of Wilson's book, published in 1945, which argued for the nationalisation of the coal industry? A new deal for coal? Yes, what infamous three-word term did Wilson use for Swiss bankers and other international financiers who speculated when the pound sterling was under pressure? He first used it in the House of Commons in November 1956. Gnomes of Zurich. That is exactly right. So, for that matter, were all your other answers, all 15 of them. Brian, 15 points. Some high scores there. Let's have a look at all of them. In fourth place, 11 points. Hugh, third place, 12 points. Andrew, second place, 14 points. Darren, first place, 15 points. Brian. <laughs> it is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. So, let us get on with it and ask Hugh to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with 11 points. Hugh, two and a half minutes, of course, for general knowledge questions. Here we go. What is the popular name relating to an animal for the small glass reflectors that are set in a frame in the road surface that indicate traffic lanes? Cat's eye. Yes. Senlac Hill is regarded as the site of which pivotal battle of English history in October 1066? Battle of Hastings. Yep, the cakewalk, the jitterbug and the turkey trot are all types of what? Chance. Yes, in Christian tradition, St Luke is credited with the authorship of the third gospel and which other book of the New Testament? Pass. The tagline of what 1993 Robin Williams film was She makes dinner, she does windows, she reads bedtime stories, she's a blessing in disguise. Mrs Doubtfire? Yep. Which member of the Beat family, popular in Mediterranean cuisine, has types called Swiss, Rainbow and Ruby? Radish. Chard. What is the capital and largest town of the island of Barbados? Barbados is... Kingston. Bridgetown. Kingston. What colour is the cartoon dog Huckleberry Hound? Blue. Yep. Which carnivorous plant has a botanical name that loosely translates as Aphrodite's mousetrap? Venus flytrap. Yes. The Zarzuela Palace is the residence of the monarchs of which European country? Liechtenstein. Spain. The title of what novel by Joseph Heller, first published in 1961, has come into everyday language to mean a no-win situation? Catch-22. Yes. Which Olympic champion learned her skills as a boxer when another took her as a 12-year-old to Bermontoff's Boxing Club in her home city of Leeds? Pass. The central and southern area of the Peak District of Derbyshire is known as the White Peak because of a rock that gives local structures a whitish appearance. What rock? Pass. What is the name of the English singer and songwriter who reached number two in the UK singles charts in 2015 with Hold Back the River? Pass. What general term is applied in physics to substances that block or slow the flow of electricity or heat? Resistance. 
insulators. What is the subject of the poem in which Robert Burns addresses the great chieftain of the puddin' race? Haggis. Yes. In music, what Italian term is used for a brief orchestral piece performed between the scenes of an opera, often to denote the passing of time? Intermezzo. Yeah. Which famous French Impressionist painter who lived from 1840 to 1926 had the first names Oscar Claude? Monet. Yes. The ashes of which poet, dramatist and critic are buried at St Michael's Church in East Coca in Somerset? The name of the village is the title of one of his four quartets. Pass. It's uh, T.S. Eliot. And the other pass is James Bay, was that English singer who reached number two. And Limestone is the rock, hence the white appearance. Nicola Adams was the Olympic champion boxer. And Luke wrote the third gospel and the Acts of the Apostles. Right. You now have a total hue of 21 points. <laughs> and now Andrew again, please. And uh, you start out with uh, 12 points, Andrew. And you know what the score to beat is at the moment. So here we go. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge starting now. What French word is normally used for a simple coffee maker that consists of a jug with a plunger to push the grounds to the bottom before the coffee is served? Capitier. Yep. Who's the former Speaker of the House of Commons who was a member of the dance troupe The Tiller Girls in her early life? Betty Boothroyd. Yes. The Barents, the Beaufort and the White are among the marginal seas of which ocean? The Arctic Ocean. Yes. What name is given to an airy, crisp confection of beaten egg whites and sugar often filled with cream? A meringue. Yep, the 893-metre-high mountain Kada Idris is in the southern part of which national park? The Brecon Beacons. Snowdonia. On what day of the week did The Cure say, I'm in love, in their 1992 UK top ten hit? Friday. Yes, what is the surname of the teacher at Hogwarts after whom the species of crab Harry Plax Severus was named in January 2017? Snape. Yes. In Norse and German mythology, what type of creature was Ordumli? She gave nourishment to the first being on Earth, the giant Emur. A cow. Yep. Who resigned as England's test cricket captain in February 2017 after a record 59 matches in charge? Alistair Cook. Yes. What name is given to the part of the White House that houses the Oval Office and the Cabinet Room? The West Wing. Yes. Which character in literature described his becalmed vessel as being as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean? Pass. What name is given to the process in which heat is transferred by the movement of a gas or liquid? Convection. Correct. In the 1970s, the pop entrepreneur Malcolm McLaren opened a shop in the King's Road, Chelsea, with which fashion designer? Vivian Westwood. Yes. In the second series of the BBC's adaptations of Shakespeare's history plays, The Hollow Crown, which actor portrayed Richard III? David Tennant. Cumberbatch, Benny Cumberbatch. What portmanteau name is given to the edge of a piece of woven material finished in a way that prevents fraying? Pass. Which German composer, whose name was adopted by a popular singer of the 1960s, wrote the music for the 1893 opera Hansel and Gretel? Pass. What is the name of the lock in south-west London that marks the usual tidal limit of the River Thames? The Thames Barrier. Teddington Lock. Which former cast member of Saturday Night Live starred in The Waterboy and The Wedding Singer? Adam Sandler. Yep. In what part of the body are the navicular, cuboid and cuneiform bones? The wrist. The foot. Which former Prime Minister of Pakistan was the first female leader of a Muslim country in modern history? She was murdered in Rawal Pindi on the 27th of December 2007. Benazir Bhutto. Is correct. You had three passes. That uh, German composer, whose name was adopted later, was Engelbert Humperdinck. Salvage. S-E-L-V-E-D-G is the portmanteau name given to the edge of a piece of woven material. No. Normie, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean, the ancient mariner. You have, Andrew, a total of 25 points. <laughs> and now, Darren, again, please. And, uh, Darren, you start out with 14 points. And 25 is now the score to beat. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. Who plays the irritable hotel owner Basil Fawlty in the television series Fawlty Towers? John Cleese. Yep, in Treasure Island. What sign does Blind Pew hand to Billy Bones that causes him to have a heart attack and die of terror? 
a press gang. A black spot. Which northern city's Anglican cathedral is the largest in Britain and the fifth largest in the world? Salisbury. Liverpool. From which European language does the word sauna come? Sweden. Finnish. What is the English name of the prominent geographical feature formerly known as Jabal Tariq or Mount Tariq? Gibraltar. Yes. Which Handel oratorio was first performed in a music hall near the banks of the River Liffey in Dublin on the 13th of April 1742? Messiah. Yes. Which Radio 2 presenter took over from Kate Thornton as the presenter of the television talent show The X Factor in 2007? Dermot O'Leary. Yep. Which Asian country gives its name to a hard enamel-like varnish used to give a glossy, usually black, ornamental finish to metal objects? China. Japan. Farina dolce is the Italian term for flour made from what nut? Almond. Chestnut. Who performed some of her biggest hits, including Just Dance, Poker Face and Born This Way, in the Super Bowl halftime show in February 2017? Lady Gaga. Yes, what fictional newspaper magnate dies in his mansion Xanadu with the word rosebud on his lips? It is later revealed to be the name of a sledge he owned as a child. Oh, I can't remember. Orson Welles played I can't remember. Ah, Citizen Kane. Yep. Which American golfer was given the nickname Golden Bear? He dominated the game from the 1960s to the 80s. Jack Nicholas. Yep. In agriculture and gardening, what general term is used for wild plants that are in direct competition with cultivated vegetation? Herbivorous plants. Weeds. Oh. Which radioactive metallic element was once widely used in luminous paints such as that used on watch dials? Sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Which radioactive metallic element was once widely used in luminous paint such as that used on watch dials? Uranium. Radium. Oh. In which country did the Whiskey Rebellion take place in 1794 over an attempt to impose a tax on the drink? Ireland. America. In the New Testament, which of the apostles is believed to have written, For the love of money is the root of all evil? Paul. Yes. What armoured vehicle got its name because the workers at the Lincoln firm of William Foster and Company that built the first ones were told they were building water carriers for Mesopotamia? Tanks. Yes. Which Greek goddess is depicted in the pre-Christian statue The Winged Victory of Samothrace prominently on display at the Louvre? Nike. Yes, Nike. What alternative word for a county was an administrative area in Anglo-Saxon England? Shire. Is correct. No passes, Darren. You've got 24 points. Finally, Brian again, please. And uh, you start out with your 15 points and the score to beat is still 25. Let's see if you can do it. Move into the next round, the semi-finals. Here we go. What is the name of the large square in the centre of Moscow listed in 1990 by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site? Red Square. Yep. Which Dutch painter moved to Paris in 1886 to live with his brother Theo, an art dealer? Van Gogh. Yes. In mathematics, what name is given to a line that touches a curve at a particular point but does not intersect it? Tangent. Yep. What was the name of the guitar-playing rabbit in the children's television programme The Magic Roundabout? <sighs> Brian. <laughs> Dylan, yes. which former MP was Environment Secretary from 2006 and Foreign Secretary from 2007 until the fall of the Labour government in 2010? David Miliband. Yep. Which steam engine was the first to reach an authenticated speed of 100 miles an hour in 1934? It made its return to the rails in February 2016 with a run from King's Cross to York. Flying Scotsman. Yep. Which French gold coin was first struck in 1640 after the revolution? It was renamed the Napoleon and was worth 20 francs. The Louis. Yes. With what word do all four Four Gospels of the New Testament conclude in the authorised version of the Bible. End. <laughs> Amen. In tennis, who achieved an Open Era record 23rd Grand Slam singles title when she won the Australian Open for the seventh time in January 2017? Serena Williams. Yes. What's the title of Charles Dickens' last novel? It was unfinished at his death in 1817. Mystery of Edwin Drood. Yes. The savannah and the smaller forest are the two African species of which large mammal? Antelope. Elephant. How many gallons of beer are there in a measure called a firkin equal to a quarter of a barrel? Four. Nine. The underground railway systems in German-speaking cities such as Berlin and Vienna are generally known by what abbreviated name? U-Bahn. Yes. Which garden tool shares its name with the object that a croupier uses to draw in money? Rake. Yep. Which Oscar-winning actress's last role was an angel called Hap in Steven Spielberg's 1989 film Always? Catherine Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> the M73 motorway bypasses which Scottish city on its eastern side? Glasgow. Yes. What is the name of the Bootleborn 60s pop singer who was backed by a Manchester band called the Dakotas? 
Billy J. Kramer. Yes. Pyrophobia is a fear of what? Fire. Yes. How many of the eight planets in the solar system are known as inferior planets because in geocentric astronomy they were thought to be below the sun? Two. Yes. This Was a Man, first published in 2016, is the seventh and last of which series of novels by Geoffrey Archer? Pass. Which famous artist's nose did the Florentine sculptor Pietro Torrigiano break in a fit of jealousy? Torrigiano is reckoned to have brought the Renaissance to England after he was forced to leave Italy. Michelangelo? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you had one pass, Brian. The um, series of novels by Geoffrey Archer was The Clifton Chronicles. But you have a total now of 30 points. <laughs> Most impressive score there. Let's have a look at all of the scores. Fourth place, 21 points. Hugh, third place, 24 points. Darren, second place, 25 points. Andrew, first place with 30 points. Brian. So, Brian is tonight's clear winner and goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. Commiserations to Andrew, but with a score of 25, it's possible that we shall see him again in the semi-final. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk, stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>